principle and the most nervous man at Royal Highland. So please give a warm welcome to the Civil Church. Now, this is what's known as the official clipping of George. Now, George, we're all doing this for charity. Uh, tell us how much you've managed to raise so far. <laughs> 3,500 pounds, ladies and gentlemen. Well, thank you, people. We're going to count you down. Join in, everyone. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's cheer. So we are underway with our hand cheers after a quick good luck kiss. Great technique there. She really is going for it. There's a few grey ones come off there, Jenny. Yeah, I don't know if uh, George realises that Sybil normally wears glasses and she's lost them. <laughs> oh, she's gone in with the electric shears here. Is this a mistake? Is this too early, do you think? I think that's too early. I think she's been tidying up at the end with the electric shears. There is a, there, there is a rule here that uh, if you make another word bleed the animal, then you're disqualified. So if you see any blood, you've got to stop the competition. Let's get a, a quick word with George here. George, you weren't nervous before. How are you feeling at this point? Thank you. <laughs> Obviously very relaxed. Sybil, is this something that you have practiced? I, pr I have practiced a few times with George, but I've put many, many sheep in my lifetime. And actually, they're terribly a lot easier than George. Um, but I have practiced a few times, but I'm quite nervous because I'm so excited at the amount of money that's been so generously donated to my own cancer care. What are the main differences between George and sheep? Um, I love my sheep and I love my husband. The, same. <laughs> the sheep don't answer back though, I think that's probably it. The other thing too is you must keep the skin tight on the part you're shearing. That's it, that's it, she's got it one. You've got to keep the skin really tight and that way you won't nick the flesh. Oh, have you nicked the flesh? Is that red stuff blood? Well, we're hoping George has brought his favourite moisturiser with him after this, because he's probably going to need it. Okay, the coarse hairs come off. Now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. She's getting right in about the moustache here. Oh. A wee kiss to reassure the nervous patient. I think he's looking at least 10 years younger. Oh, this is a bonus for Sybil. Always been a toy boy. Sybil? You've now got a queue of bearded men who are lying oh, here. Come on. There's a man over there who's looking very tempted. <laughs> What's your rate? <laughs> very reasonable prices, son. The boyish looking George now. Yes. Oh. Points off, Jimmy. That's off the board, that one. Off. Well, that's a penalty right away. She'll lose five I'm points in the final score. But you know, she can make that up. <laughs> she can make that up by having a lovely clean finish. And this is what she's doing now. She's using the clippers to take off the little, little bits of rough, rough hair that are sticking out. Notice how she's pulling the, pulling the skin tight. That's very, very important to get that right. Let's give her a bit of encouragement, ladies and gentlemen, for the last little section. Let's get you to have, let's get in there for all our cameras here, one final hug and a kiss. Sybil and her new toy boy, the Green Suman, George. Ladies and gentlemen, over three and a half thousand pounds raised for Macmillan Cancer Charity. Let's hear it for Sybil and George. So we're here with the newly shorn George. Sybil's done a great job there. How does shearing hemp compare with shearing sheep? It's actually a lot more difficult, Brian, to shear George <laughs> than it is a sheep. Much more difficult. And don't get so much practice. It's only every few months. And the sheep don't squeal when you accidentally cut them the way that he does. No, they don't pass comment and remark about what you're doing. <laughs> what did you think of our technique? Yeah, I can't see it, but it feels like there's blood somewhere. <laughs> There probably is. Tell us about why you why you had that spear that, and how we've ended up here uh, raising so much money for charity. Well, I started growing it in September sometimes in, uh, for stocking, as, as was in the programme, 
I was down at Christmas, at, uh, my father visited mother and father and uh, he showed me a great picture of great uncle, a great grandfather, had a beard down to here and I just thought, right, I'm going to go for it. But uh, summers came and charity won. There we go. Maybe next year. And of course, lots of people here this weekend have donated as well. What do you want to say to them? Thank you very much. Thank it's, you for their generosity. Thank you for their interest in this farming life, which is where we first saw the beard coming off. And that was really how it all followed on from what the BBC did for Scottish agriculture oh, and the whole Scottish yeah. picture. The generosity of the people here at the Royal Island Show is absolutely astounding. That, all that money raised for Macmillan nurses, fabulous. So, lots of money raised for charity. You've had a chance to brush up on your shearing skills. And you've now got a man who looks 10 years younger. Great. It's win-win. Perfect, I agree.